Westboro County deputies say they rescued two women who were living lives of misery. The sheriff says traffickers had forced them to sell their bodies for months or even years. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank is at the sheriff's office to tell us about the warning signs that tipped off deputies. The two women who were rescued by Hillsborough County Sheriff's deputies were living lives of misery. They were forced to work and had nowhere to go. Deputies say the women who worked for these two men weren't technically in prison, but it might have felt like it. A lot of times they have experienced trauma for an extremely long time. They say 31-year-old Ronald Fentress met his victim on a dating app and exploited her vulnerabilities to coax her into making $1,000 a day for months. If she didn't, the sheriff says he would beat her. They busted Fentress in a motel room sting. When she was met with our human trafficking squad, she immediately broke down. She immediately became overwhelmed with emotion, confessing that she was being trafficked against her will. The second woman was allegedly forced to sell herself by 42-year-old Vanzini Hansel. They say he beat her for 15 years and that he got caught when she became pregnant and went to the hospital with severe wounds to her abdomen. One of the girls, I mean, just wanted to take a day off and experienced getting beaten severely to the point that he was trying to terminate a suspected pregnancy. I mean, so it could be fear of that, lack of resources if they don't have a safe place to go. These are just two of the cases happening right now all over Tampa Bay. The biggest sign to watch for, the sheriff says, is when someone is too nervous to speak for themselves and defers to someone else. To help them recover from that, um, to honor the fact that they were brave enough to come forward and share with us their experience. I mean, they are the true heroes in this, to stand up and be able to say, hey, this happened to me and I want help. The sheriff hopes the slew of charges that they both face, combined with their criminal histories, could land them in jail for at least a long time, and if not, for the rest of their lives. At the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, Evan Axelbank, Fox 13 News.